Mm. Hello. It is me. Uh, my name is James, and I am Todd's past, a ghost. Um, anyway, Jack asked me to make this little video, and uh, so I thought I would because I have nothing really better to do with my time, so I figured why not. Um, yeah, um, so I guess this is about Todd and the end of his uh, life as a young gay man. So, um, anyway, um, I guess I have a lot to say about Todd, but I'm not going to take up too much time because watching these videos gets boring really, really quick. But I guess uh, I could I could show you something. I, I, I could show you something that I just... There we go. Okay. <clears throat> now, this might be see, uh, seem a little bit creepy, but um, some people might think I'm a hoarder or whatever, but I do tend to hold on to things, even if they're a little bit embarrassing from important parts of my life. So. Yeah, this is embarrassing. Um, it's a long time ago, but uh, let's see if we can just get a decent shot of that there. Those two idiots. This is around the uh, time of me um, using ridiculously amounts of large amounts of uh, hair product. And more importantly, this is a difficult time, a long time ago for Todd because that was around the time of his nipple surgery. Sorry to bring it up, Todd, but your nipple surgery when you were uh, about that age, about 20 years old. Uh, you see, Todd was born with extremely, extremely large nipples, um, like coasters, right? Like this, right? And so it was really embarrassing for him. So he uh, decided to have surgery and uh, I was there for him for that and now they're Relatively normal nipples, as you probably all know. Um, it's supposed to be like a three minute video, but I'm already up to four. I don't know how that happened. Um, I just I just want to show you, I just want to, I just want, one sec, one sec. <clears throat> uh, Yeah, I'm not going to take it out, but Todd, I still have that. So one of the things I want to show you and tell you is about Todd is, is you probably already know this because I'm sure he hasn't changed at all, but um, the way Todd danced, no matter style of music, no matter tempo, no matter genre, Todd always danced the same. So if you put on a... Uh, Staying Alive by the Bee Gees. Todd's dance would be like this. Uh, put on um, Dancing Queen by ABBA. Song 2 by Blur. The Emperor Concerto by Ludwig van Beethoven. <clears throat> How a gay man could dance like that is, I understand completely why you'd move to Victoria, because that's about, well, where those dan dance skills uh, actually belong. So, Todd, um... 
thank you for being a part of my life still. <laughs> um, I'm glad I'm still here to be a part of yours, even if it is several thousand miles away. Um, I'm really grateful that you're here. And uh, I love you. Happy birthday. You take some dance classes, okay? Because I'm sure it hasn't changed. Thanks, Jack, for letting me do this. I love you, Todd. Happy birthday. <laughs>